Hey guys, Josh here, and today I thought we'd take a look at the 2010 TFCon exclusive Nightbird made by Impossible Toys. Now this is going to be one of those figures that I have quite a few negative things to say about it, but keep in mind that it was one of the earlier releases for a third party transforming toy, and it's not going to be on par with the things released in 2013, 2014, and so on. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things that it comes with. First off, you get two of these little side here, which are pretty cool, and you kind of see that there's a hole there. Uh, that is because you get this little... Um, looks like a little Lego hand, but you can see that the little bracket right there, which will fit around the arm, it has that peg there, and these are supposed to slide on there, and they can fit on her arms just like so. So she can hold her guns or a lightsaber, or I'm just going to call it a lightsaber, and the size can set on her hands. But unfortunately, this peg is a little too big for this hole, this hole is too small for that peg. Either way, uh, it doesn't fit on there. You could probably get it on there with a lot of force, but unfortunately I don't want to do it. And plus, I'm not going to put these on her arms anyway. And I'll show you just because I've already done it once before when I first got this guy or her uh, two years ago. And it completely messed up the paint. I'll show that to you here in a bit. Uh, you also get two of these guns, which happen to be the only two accessories they can fit in her hands. So it's a little unfortunate. It'd be nice to have her all armed up, but... Um, you know, it, it's again, you know, it's a very early on um, third party product, so it's not going to have all the bells and whistles that we get today. Uh, the other thing that it comes with is a okay looking lightsaber. I mean, there's like a lot of paint splatter on this thing. There's really no level of detail. Uh, I don't want to say it's a soft plastic. It's not necessarily hard either, but you could definitely break this in half if you weren't very careful with it. So those are basically the accessories. Uh, we'll move those to the side. We'll come back to them in a moment. Uh, taking a look at the card here, we never saw Nightbird, uh, which was a character from the original G1 cartoon, but we never saw her in a toy release, so it was kind of cool to get this, and I was always a fan of her. I thought that episode was really good, you know, with her in it, I liked her character. Um, you know, she was basically a human design by, I don't remember the guy's name, but uh, it's some you know, Japanese name. They created her to be, you know, you know, robot, she was an Autobot or Decepticon. Autobot's supposed to um, protect her. Decepticons, they end up picking her up and adding, like, some different stuff and, you know, making her basically the Decepticon slave. But she never transformed in the episode, but they gave her this little car, which they also used this mold on RC and Alita 1 and maybe others, I'm not really sure. But uh, same mold there. Uh, they did give her a different head, but it does have wheels here. But unfortunately, there's a few things that come undone on her. These two front wheels right here, if you're not careful, they will just pop right off. Now, you can pop them back on there, but it, I mean, it requires quite a bit of pressure. And, you know, for adult size, you know, thumbs, and I don't think I have, like, you know, the biggest hands, but even adult size thumbs, uh, it's very hard to kind of get your thumb in there and press it back in there. Uh, it's too bad that it's not like a screw. It's just a little black piece of plastic that can pop out. All the other parts that are kind of negative with this, uh, you can see you know, pretty much everything here at the bottom. Uh, with this front section right here, this is supposed to be able to clip in, but unfortunately it never clips in. It just kind of sits there and um, you know, hopefully gravity doesn't you know, pull it down. But I guess it's not too bad, you know, considering when it did come out. Let's do one size comparison. Here it is with G1 Sideswipe. So it actually scales up pretty nice, but in the cartoon she was actually much smaller than the other Transformers. So, oh, Let's go ahead and get this thing transformed. Uh, first thing that we're going to do is if you pull out with these legs, she does have you know her feet. They just kind of bend right here. So they'll just kind of slide out with no problems there. You can bring those around. Do the same with this one. I'm just having to be very careful with her uh, while doing this transformation. Otherwise something might break. So that's how she is. Uh, you have this little hip section here. You can come down with these and they kind of lock into place but not very good. These arms you will come out. They did not clip in at all. They just kind of just sat there. And you'll see that you got a little tab here and let me make sure everything's focused for you. Uh, you got this little bitty tab right here and one over here as well. With this section you can see that it kind of swings down. You're going to swing this section around and come up and come down with this then come down with this section you get these two they're not really tabs they're just kind of notches nothing really tabs into place and these things are supposed to tab in there on the side and we'll just try to push that one in there but you can see that it doesn't really do a good job of holding it in and oh there's that wheel I was talking about so 
I'm just going to set it to the side. I'm not going to spend time trying to put it back in there. Uh, then you have her head. Now, as far as articulation, let me rise this up for you, or raise that up for you. Uh, it does kind of go back and forth a little bit there just because of the transformation. It does have a little ball joint here at the shoulder. It can move around. Also, some bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. And that's pretty much it for the arms there. Uh, nothing in the waist section. The legs, they can go back and forth. Not really in and out, just because, you know, whenever we pull that down. If you left her up like this, she's going to have a very hard time balancing whenever you stand her up. Uh, even though she still does have a pretty difficult time. But you could kind of go in and out a little bit more, I guess, if you wanted to. Uh, it does have some bend in the knee. And then you get some foot posability where this can go back because of transformation, but it can't go forward any. So if you wanted to kind of bend those knees and kind of get her in a walking pose, this doesn't go forward. So it's kind of pointless other than the transformation. Now let's get into the accessories, like I said. First off, the lightsaber doesn't fit in there. Now you can, you know, if you were coming from the bottom, uh, you can come through that way and maybe you can get it down there, but uh, you're going to end up scratching up the paint on the lightsaber, so I didn't want to do that and damage the figure. The other thing is the size, yep, can't fit in there, and like I said, nothing snaps into place, so there's the chest coming up. And these little sections, so that we could put the size maybe on the side of her little wrist, this is where you would clamp them on, just to kind of show you real quick. And we'll get a kind of closer look. I've only tried this once. You can see that there's some scratched up paint right there. Uh, some scratched up paint right there as well. Uh, you have little chips right here in the black paint. So, you know, it wasn't a very good job in my opinion. And this, this thing is just going to keep on trying to fall all over the place. Because, again, it, nothing locks in place. And you saw the wheel popped off and everything. But you can put her guns in her hand, which is nice again if she was able to be arm you know all armed up with her you know size on the side you can kind of get the idea what that would look like if i can get this focus for you sorry about that uh if you get the size here on the side and i have no idea what you do this lightsaber you know just i don't know maybe you can put some tape or sticky tag back there and kind of put it to the side there you know that that wouldn't look too bad but uh she's one of those figures that i i have it and I haven't brought this out of the box in like a year and a half, and uh, I figured I'd do it for the review, because uh, I don't think I saw any on YouTube yet. Uh, there might be a couple. I'm uh, still having trouble balancing here. But uh, she's going to go right back in the box. Sorry. All right, well, she, she can stand. Uh, <laughs> I'm just having way too much of a difficult time trying to stand her. Uh, get a little look at her right here. I really hope that, you know, uh, I believe it's Master My Creations. They're going to be coming out with an RC, Alita 1, and Chromia, and all those things. Uh, and I believe that they have the RC for 60 bucks, and the rest of them are going to be for 50 bucks. Please give me a Nightbird. That would be so awesome. So hopefully that's something that we see here in the near future from Master My Creations, or just anybody for the most part. A uh, real quick size comparison. Here it is with another third-party product. There is Fans Projects Breakdown or car crash. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed and I will talk to you later.